In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use dual monitor Windows machine as your thin client for your Samsung DeX and how to use both monitors to maximizing your productivity if the main device that you want to use is your Galaxy phone that supports DeX. So let's start. Right, I, what you see in front of you is dual monitor setup for Windows 10 machine and I will use my Note 9 to have a DeX projected to one monitor and another monitor will be let's say my phone screen or Linux distro. So that's what I will demonstrate that for you. So first of all, uh, you need to have a DeX on Windows installed for your Windows machine and obviously make sure that it's working. Uh, mine's a bit flaky today. I'm not sure why it sometimes crashes. So hopefully everything will be fine. And right, let's start. So my phone is ready to get everything connected. So first I'll use this USB type C, which are already connected to the Windows machine. So I'll plug that into the phone. Phone is charging. Uh, notification popped up saying the DeX is detected. And as you can see, monitor already picked it up. That is happening something on the screen. I'm click start now. And any second, this monitor will change to the DEX. So this is it. So one monitor is already occupied with the DEX. So I can go into the app drawer and obviously open the browser and do what I need to do in here. The second app which we're going to use is called Samsung Flow. Samsung Flow, it says, uh, let's say, I, I would say the Samsung Flow is a basic version of Google Cast, Google Chromecast. But anyway, let uh, it, it's not like it's less features, but it works perfectly for this kind of scenario. So that's what I will demonstrate for you. Uh, just to let you know about Samsung Flow, it allows you to cast your phone screen to a Galaxy tablet or Windows machine. So you can take your Galaxy device, Galaxy phone, and cast your screen to Windows machine and control your phone screen remotely, which I will demonstrate in a second. And you can cast your phone screen to a tablet. You can cast tablet back to phone, but you can take phone screen and cast to a tablet. I hope that makes sense, okay? Right, so this is what it is. And I already have a Samsung Flow installed on this machine. So if we're gonna minimize and we run Samsung Flow, I do have here at the start running Samsung Flow. And this is Samsung Flow right now trying to detect my phone. The way the connection established between your phone and Samsung Flow in the freeway is three ways. Ah, something is in my eye. Right. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or wired. Wired connection has already been used by DeX, and obviously I possibly can use wired connection again, but I just don't want to really use that. Just don't want to uh, bottleneck the cable, if that makes sense. I just, I'm going to use Wi-Fi because I'm actually recording right now in my office. I needed a Windows machine, so I, I'm, I just arrived here just to record the videos <clears throat> using a Windows machine and I'll do a couple of more videos. So you will see me in this kind of environment for next couple of videos. Right. So um, we're going to use Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi in this building and specifically in my office is very, very good. So hopefully <laughs> everything's going to work fine. Right. So Samsung Flow is trying to detect the phone. If I'll open Samsung Flow app on my phone, so Samsung Flow app is running on the phone and Samsung Flow software is running on Windows. So that is great. Next thing I need to, let's say, is trying to detect. Don't know why it's struggling, but I'm going to say scan devices. And there's a button here says start. I'm going to click on that. And it's detected the Note 9 via cable or Note 9 via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I'm going to use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Click yes. Wi-Fi. It's telling me 8830.79. The same number appeared on the screen. I'm going to tap OK on the screen, on the phone screen, and click OK on the machine. Click Done. And now what's happening is I am casting the phone screen. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm connected to the phone. So I'm right now in the flow history and notifications. Basically what's happened is mirroring all your notifications to the, to the PC. So you, need, you can take your phone, connect somewhere, to the PC, but just leave it on the side and it's going to work without any problems. And there is a couple of buttons at the top. First one is the blue, uh, clipboard, then the smart view, and then there is a hotspot. Uh, about the hotspot, um, if you're casting your phone screen to the tablet, you can remotely from a tablet initiate hotspot on your phone. And let's say, in my case, I'm using Galaxy Tablet 6. I take my phone, connect via Samsung Flow, 
and just leave my phone on the side and I can initiate hotspot if I need the internet from the Galaxy tablet directly and the phone turns the hotspot on and my tablet automatically connects. I don't need to go between a couple of devices and try to connect that. So we're gonna click on the smart view. On the phone, I'm getting the information saying, you are about to cast your screen. Are you happy with that? I'm gonna say start casting now. And what you see is basically, this is my phone screen right now. So let's take this out at the side. So this is my phone screen. Right, and if I click home on here, and as you can see, I can go and uh, control my phone remotely. If I want to, let's say, search for something, let's say Samsung DeX. And as you can see, I'm using keyboard, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse connected to the PC, controlling my phone via Samsung Flow. And I can scroll around, let's say, let's go to the, the best ever website. So let's open up and let's go to the best ever website. Um, it is, reddit.com Samsung Dex. <clears throat> so I'm opening Samsung Dex uh, page on my phone, but actually I'm showing this. And by the way, the phone screen automatically dims down just to save battery life and pixels, etc. There's a button here at the top, a fourth button from the left, which if I press that, it starts the screen. So as you can see, it's, I hope the camera can pick it up, but literally is uh, zero lag. And if I go horizontally, it will or should adjust. Oh no, it's not gonna adjust, sorry. Uh, there is a button second from the left, which is, will do a rotation. So right now, everything is in a landscape mode. As you can see, everything is going around and uh, no problems at all. Right, so I'm controlling my phone. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave my phone in this kind of orientation, in this kind of rotation, and I have decks on this side, so I can still go through Dex. Um, open file manager, let's say, if I want to, and I still can go and, and read the article on the left-hand side. But obviously, this is a phone screen, it's a bit blown up, and it's not really convenient to look at this. So, <coughs> excuse me. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run a Turmux app. So we're gonna go and find the Turmux app. So running the Turmux, let's, Let's go, here you go. So running a Turmux terminal. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start Andronix, uh, Linux, Linux um, Ubuntu XFCE or XCFE, whatever that thing is called um, environment. So we're gonna see BNC server dash start. And I'm gonna say auto detect the resolution cause I would like automatically detect what resolution I'm using on here. So it says the the server started, let's go home. Let's go and find V and C. So we're running V and C. Uh, let's go, uh, force it go to landscape, click OK. And here we are, we are in Ubuntu Linux distro. So we go to a home, we can open applications. Hold on, I should be able to control this. Oh yeah, it's the, uh, it's the way it's, let's go, a third icon from the left, it goes full screen. And what we need to do, we need to, okay. Okay, so we can see. I need to sort it out. It's, it's, it's basically right now a screen drag. So as you can see, this is a mouse. I need to click and hold. That's what's happening. It's, it's just a little configuration requires in VNC client to initiate that you actually not, um, the input input uh, style is not like you tap and hold and you drag across, excuse me, across the screen and it's following with the mouse, but the export, the resolution is not the greatest, but it does the job and it's working perfectly. Well, perfectly-ish. Obviously it's depending on your, how picky you are. I mean, this this is fantastic. I have Linux distro running, running on one monitor and I have, Samsung DeX running on another monitor, which is like two screens is better than one. But there is another app, which I would like to demonstrate. Well, actually there is two apps, but one of them is very useful and most, and what I mean very useful is more specific than others. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and stop this. Oh, do not disturb, I turn do not disturb. Right, I need to go on the phone 
and press tab disconnect from vnc server and right now we back on my phone screen another app i think is called lumia i think it's called lumia let me check it's lina not lumia it's called lina lina is sort of like a desktop environment on android and when you run that's what you get so instead of showing on this monitor what i'll do i'll swap the monitors so dex on the left and lumia on the right and right now i can go as you can see open the file browser error occurred while connected to the license server i don't know what that's something happening and i have a window file manager running inside lina and i can open this file manager inside dex obviously there is no drag between two monitors there is no you click on the file drag on another monitor but you pretty much can access the same same folder uh, obviously from both apps so i'm going right now going into the load folder so right now downloads folder is on this side and downloads folder on this side so you can pick one folder and create where you can share a file between between two or two of these uh let's go and open uh, i'm opening the inside lena opening the um the browser so let's go into reddit.com slash r slash samsung dex so opening samsung dex subreddit group inside lena so let's close that as you can see i can obviously uh increase the, the this uh let's see what's happening what people writing around uh, about the decks and i can go on this monitor and sort open something decks as well there you go and i have dual screen setup not perfect but it's still very very amazing and i'm, I'm i mean it's like wow i <laughs> brilliant brilliant um i'm still by the way trying to figure out how to use free monitors how to do this but at the moment um it's it's a uh, it's a perfect 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 um, perfect scenario. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.